good morning to you this morning it's a beautiful bright sunny morning here in Brackley it's the 24th of March 2021 and I'm bringing you some more card making this is Jenny from Gemini Crafts and I'm based in Brackley as I said in Northamptonshire which is in the UK thanks so much for joining me today if you're joining live do please say hi and let me know that you're watching my main video will appear in the Gemini Crafts Facebook page but good morning Jeanette but you may um, also see it live in some of my subsidiary pages such as coffee and card and gemini crafts oxford so for the main content in terms of discussion you will find that on gemini crafts rather than any subsidiary pages morning tracy so we're continuing our fun with the hot dog stamp set which is this one here and we've had some um, great fun with this it's a really fun set and I'm planning to elongate the sausage dog today um, it just calls for that really doesn't it good morning Molly and good morning Carol and Katie good morning so let me show you the cards we've made this week you probably already seen these but for anybody joining um, who hasn't seen these um, this is what we created earlier on this week so just some simple colouring. Morning Carol, everybody's up nice and bright and early this morning. This one with the two dogs facing each other with their tails wagging. And then this one yesterday, which I've matched with the Playful Pets papers. And this one we had fun with our Ooh La French sausage dog. And the text says bonjour or bonjour. I thought was rather amusing I decided to do the French dog first and then of course that was absolutely appropriate so I might actually change those bones to be a little bit browner rather than pink anyway so that's what we've done so far oh and it's only Wednesday today so um, you may have seen I'm sure quite a few people have done this already but elongating the dog and putting a sentiment in the middle so what I was thinking and I haven't tried it so I'm hoping this is going to work I'm going to stamp the front of the dog and the back of the dog with a gap in the middle and then put I miss you it's been too long in the middle I thought that was a bit of a play on words I think it's obviously designed for that um, so I'm going to use for some reason I like my dogs facing that way I don't know why just one of those things so the layers that I've got today I thought I'd go blue today as I've had a bit of a lot of red this week um, morning Carol G so I've got a Pacific point card here I've got a layer of designer paper and this one actually is from the well suited or handsomely suited set this is the male um, papers I did think of doing um, a checkerboard one but you just don't see enough of it around the edge so I thought if I went for the all over floral you'll see a little bit more and then I've got a smaller layer here for my stamped image I might even make that smaller again as I think I can get away with it so let me just trim this down a little bit more because I do want to see that lovely paper so let's just take this down another half centimeter if you're not very good at measuring and you want to get different layers a nice easy way to do it is to start with two or three pieces exactly the same size and then when you get your next layer instead of trying to measure it use this here on the right hand side where we've got um, 
centimeters and just either cut it at one centimeter or half a centimeter um, difference so I'm going to take this down half a centimetre and that means you don't have to um, do any measuring. You're just measuring the bit that you're cutting off. So when you do your first one, you can cut it at half a centimetre and when you do your next layer, cut it another half a centimetre. So let me have a look and see. Yes, yeah, so I want to see more of that lovely background paper. Now you need to excuse me a minute because my window cleaner has arrived and I need to open the back gate. So please bear with me one second. Chatter amongst yourselves. Apologies for that. I should have opened that beforehand. Okay, so I've made that layer slightly smaller. So as I say, if you don't want to do measuring, start off with two or three pieces the same size and then use this um, grid on the right hand side if you're using our trimmer to cut down one centimetre or two centimetres. Morning Wendy! It's lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. So thanks for joining us. We're having fun with the hot dog. Okay, so this is going to be my layers here. So I've got Pacific Point. I've got my pretty paper here. And then my layer is going to go onto there. Like so. And so my plan is to stamp the front end of my sausage dog and the back end of my sausage dog. So what I'm thinking is, there's lots of different ways you can do it. You could just ink up the front of the stamp. Um, I'm thinking, so I've got this piece to go in between. So I'm gonna have the front here and the back there. So I hope you can see that. So if this is the right sort of size, I'm wondering if I cut this to the same size, or just a little bit smaller, then that should, I should be able to just put that on my base card Oops. so I'm thinking I can place that here for example which is where this will go and then stamp the front and the back it's got a little mark on there let's turn this over and the other thing I want to do is actually have a ground line so that um, it's on, you know, it's at the same position. I haven't got it up here or down there, although that would be quite fun. It reminds me a bit of um, the flip flap books used to make. You know, we had a one head and a different body. Oh, bless you, Wendy. Just take it easy. I know a lot of people have um, have suffered. So let's put a little grounding line on there, which I can do with a post-it note or some um, washi tape. I'll just use some of this um, magic tape. So what I'm going to do, and this will also keep this nice and straight, so I'm gonna pop this tape on here 
right across the bottom so I'm going to be able to stamp I at least have got the the feet of both of these if that makes any sense let's bring this light in a little bit it's beautifully sunny but I hope you can see that without too many um, shadows or anything so that's going to be my line mind you I can't really see it very well no it's so magic and removable you can't see it <laughs> so let me use some washi tape because I do need to be able to see the edge just as a guideline so that those feet are on the same bit there we go. okay take two let's bring this down a little bit I hope I know it's a little bit at the bottom of your screens but hopefully you can see that so what I'm going to do is put this along here like so bless you Wendy so I'm just um, pulling some of that off because I don't want it to make any marks <laughs> I've got it covered in hair never mind okay yep I think that will do okay this is going to be my central marker so I don't want to do it like that get it fairly central at the same time okay let's stick that down with that okay finally I think we're good to go so what I'm going to do is stamp the front of the dog here like so ah and the back of the dog so obviously my head is appearing over the top here so I need to make this a bit bigger like so got it okay you can see I didn't I didn't really think this through before I started but at least you get to see the um, the process hopefully this is going to work after all that okay so I'm going to start with the front of my dog so needless to say I'm using an espresso and him there morning Claire so there's the front of my dog and then what I want is that last bit at the back now if you had a big piece of card obviously you could just cover that middle bit over but um, I haven't so give it a go right let's see if that's worked oh yeah looks hopeful take this one off Okay, and then hopefully this piece will sit in the middle, like so. Okay, now I have got a white piece. I wasn't quite sure which piece to use. Um, so I have got white. 
but I just thought that was too um, it blended in too much so I thought if I picked out a pale blue to match the papers then that would um, that should work and hopefully it's a little bit longer at the front than the back but I think I can get away with that for a first attempt I'm happy with that so um, I'm going to do I miss you it's been too long which will fit nicely in here and I think I'm going to stamp that in Knight of Navy so I've got that blue theme running all the way through and then I can colour in my sausage dog I know I think if you know a um, a dachshund or sausage dog you tend to think of those I know quite a few um, all right I'm just going to try this on the back to see how it comes out in terms of colour and everything yep that works perfectly so do practice on the back of your die cut doesn't mean you'll get it perfect on the front of course there we go okay so that is going to go in the middle that is rather fun isn't it and I need to ground this um, little doggy here so, and colour him or her in. Hi, Kerezina. And right, let's use some crumb cake for the ground. And I'm actually going to do that sort of across there. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, no, that works. And what I might do is just use my ruler to link that up slightly. Because obviously it needs to, the ground doesn't stop in the middle. So just using a light brushing motion to get that in place, like so. Okay, just got a little bit more there where there would be bit of shadow there we go okay so I think what I'm going to do is add in a little bit of sky um, to give this a little bit more um, interest so this is my blue blending brush and it normally has some blue on it which it does left after my um, preparation for my butterfly class like so bringing that down a little bit and then I'm going to use some brown on the bottom just to colour that in a little bit not sure there's much on there let me grab a little bit more crumb cake this 
so obviously this is not quite such a quick and easy um, card but we've done we've done some nice quick and easy ones earlier in the week so if that's your preferred style and you've missed those then you can look back through those I do love our blending brushes. Okay, so that's the base. I think I will add a little bit more blue. So that's going to go in there. Huh. Fun. Right, let's grab a little seaside, mm, no, balmy blue I'm going to go for. just taking some of that off so I literally just want a light amount there we go grill happy with that I know you can't see much of the sky because um, it's quite pale let me make it a little bit darker So let's do a quick bit of colouring in before you all fall asleep. Um, so I'm going to um, just stick with the colours that I have been using this week. So bronze and two lots of soft suede. So I've got bronze here. And behind here. Like so this um we seem to have a lot of Dachshund sausage dogs in Brackley. I think they um they're a popular breed. Um, so, yeah, a lot of them around. Right, let's go for the fine point here. A bit darker area. Obviously, I'm just coming in a little bit from there so there's not, you don't see a gap. Let's have a darker point to his tail. There we go. And light to finish off. So I hope, certainly where we are, it's beautiful sunshine. So I hope you're able to get out during the day today. 
and take advantage of that sun, get some vitamin D into you. Even if it's only a little stroll outside, so good for our well-being. This is where it's great having a dog of your own because you've got to go out. It's just so lovely. Can't wait to be able to do nice long walks again. The fields and everything around here have been so wet that it's just no fun. Cassie, my dog, doesn't mind it, but I just don't like getting bogged down. Okay, so just blending this in where I've got the edges. And remember it will blend in and lighten up as well. I think I might add the little lines to show that the tail is wagging. can go back and finish off the um, blending and colouring in after. There we go. We'll do for now. Let's add the wagging tail because that is very cute. And then we put it together. in the ink pad and that was <laughs> that was nice of navy not espresso okay so that is going to go on to there so let's layer this up first and do that so this is my layer for the front of the pacific point card There we go. That's fun floral paper, isn't it? Then my layer for here, and I'm going to put that flat as well, and then my sentiment is going to go up on dimensionals. put dimensionals on the right side and tuck them in. Morning Donna. So this um, shape comes from the Stitched Sweetly series. I hope you're well Donna. We're playing with more dogs this week. And I've got an elongated sausage dog. <laughs> so it's just taking time to get that straight. There we go. What do we think? Is that a little bit of fun and for the inside I will just add those lovely paw prints got a piece here that will go on the inside and 
I'm just going to stamp the paw prints in to finish it off. Uh, oh, I could add a bit of bling as well. I think we need some blue bling. So, let us add. This is from the Holiday Rhinestones, but it's got this lovely um, deep blue here. So I'm going to add three of those. Um, I'll go for the middle sized ones. <laughs> oh, I'm being indecisive today. One, two, and three, like so. And then just stamp these cute footprints. So the six footprints all together, so it makes it quite easy to stamp them. So let me move this out of the way so I don't cover it with anything. It's got some glitter on it. And this is going to be the bottom of my card and I'm just going to put the footprints along there. And I've turned it on its side to make it easier to stamp. And I do have an idea for a fun Christmas card. So I think I'm going to do that one tomorrow. So if you're around tomorrow, Thursday, at 5 p.m. I shall be here, but you can catch all of my videos on Catch Up or on YouTube. How sweet are they? Aren't they cute? I appreciate to you, it might just look like little dots actually, because obviously um, the camera's further away. There we go. A little line of paw prints. So let's move everything out of the way, put that on the inside and you could um, put the paw prints on the outside of the card as well if you wanted to, um, sorry on the outside of the envelope like I did on Monday, which is this one here, did the paw prints up the side, a little bit of fun. I don't recommend doing, hi Kerry. Um, too much ink on the outside if it's likely to rain because that will uh, potentially run <laughs> so there is the inside and there is our finished card so sorry Kerry you came in <laughs> right at the end so apologies for that but you can watch the whole thing on replay anyway so there we go I miss you it's been too long very cute and this was yesterday's one, our little French sausage dog. So I've been featuring those so far. So I have got another design, uh, which I am going to do tomorrow. And that will be a fun Christmas card. Um, and it will be a long slim card. Oh, thanks, Kerry. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed what I've had to show you. Just pop that on there so you can see that. Um, I'm off for a nice cup of coffee now. So look after yourselves. I hope you can take care. Look after your loved ones as well. And I hope you're able to keep crafting. Thanks so much for watching me. I will be back tomorrow at 5pm. <laughs> Thank you everybody and have a great day. Bye-bye.